pot a level one rig and you also need to complete a small y hack now there's a good chance you're going to be asked to do this with using two different methods this first method i'm going to demonstrate is using figure of eights or nines with alpine butterflies now why hang is a method of rigging off two separate anchor points you can go off for lots of reasons it might simply be positioning because you don't have an anchor in the middle it might be that you're using the y hack to avoid things it might be that the anchors aren't unquestionably sound and you're trying to create a larger stronger system by linking two or sometimes more anchors together now this time we're going to start by taking slings and attaching two separate anchor points in this case i'm just going around the corners of the steelwork here small wide hands which means this distance isn't going to be any greater than 1.5 meters. Some things will change with larger wide hands. The instructor will tell you about that when you give him a course. But now we're going to concentrate on this small one here. Just like the basic anchor system, we're going to start by finding the centre of our rope. So taking your tails, checking your tags and inspecting the rope as you pull it through your hand. This method is going to be better for larger Y hands. So it is still a small Y hand, under 1.5 meters, but it's better for this size and grade. Anything less than this, we'll be using bunny's ears, which we'll look at next. But for this one, I'm going to start with an overhand again in the middle. And I'm just going to go for a figure of eight on each side. Fight the rope. Of it, same again. So we're just going to take both those figure of eights and I'm going to put them to the left hand side. Now, next job is to equalize the load with this anchor point here. So we need to tie another knot in each strand again. When we're tying white hands, we're going to achieve that. Our preferred maximum angle will be 90 degrees or less. So we're looking to be somewhere down here with the next knot in the system. So I'm going to bring this line to my imaginary centre point, if you like, with the Y hand. Then I'm going to start tying an alpine butterfly. I put an alpine in here because it's a good knot to tie mid line. It can be loaded in multiple directions and will give us a loop that we can adjust to reach the next anchor point. So from here, we can just tie the, y, the, the alpine. Press it up, clip it in. The load won't be equalised at this point. We'll have to do some adjusting to set that knot in the middle. But you can do that just by taking rope from the main line here, pushing it up into the outline, adjusting it, continue like that until you're happy that the load is equalised and not is sitting in the centre or wherever it needs to be to put equal load on the outlet. That looks about right. Do the same again with this line. Now if you prefer, like I do, you can try and get that alpine about the right size to stop. That will give you certainly less adjustment to do. So once you've created your loop, just lie it down, take it from up here, over and under, pull all the slack through, dress it up, pull the tails apart, clip it in, screw the carabiner. It might not be bang on, but it will be. You'll certainly have less adjustment to do than you would if you just tied the alpine small in the centre. Make sure both carabiners are screwed up. And then stop the knots and the tail ends. Again, minimum of 30 centimetres from the end. 